Good morning. Welcome, everybody. In respect for God in our celebration and for all here worshiping, we ask that all cell phones be silenced. Please don't leave personal items in the pews. All children must be accompanied by an adult when going to the courtyard or bathroom, and we kindly ask you not to chew gum in church. The entrance antiphon can be found on page four in the Missalette. The presider for our mass is Father David. Please stand. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning to everyone. And welcome to Mass this morning. The Lord Jesus welcomes each one of you and your families and uh, gives us his word in the readings speaks to us and also nourishes us with his sacred body and blood. We give thanks for his great love for us and we acknowledge too that we fail many times. We are sinners and so we pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and my thoughts and my words in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Fear the Lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives 
all his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you, and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love the Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love, I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath which was taken after the law appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. 
You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is the one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burdened offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Laurel, for leading us in the Alleluia, as well as proclaiming the, the word. Uh, it is good to have some singing on Sunday morning. And um, let us uh, give thanks also for the readings today. They are well known. We all know what are the essential commandments of God. Love of God and love of neighbor. These two are the very basic realities of our Christian life, and they are essential to love God and to love one another. Now, that is what we have in the first reading and also in the Gospel reading. And it is, however, it is a little more uh, detailed than that. And it's good for us to try to figure out why it is so important. First of all, it is the prayer of every faithful Jewish person. It is called the Shema. Shema, S-H-E-M-A. You won't find Shema in, written down in the book, but that is what it calls. Shema means listen. Hear, O Israel. And that is what the Lord our God is Lord alone. Then you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. But it is called the Shema because of the first word and because Moses told the people to write this down, to instill it into your children, to um, have it on your foreheads and to remember it constantly. It is the prayer of a faithful Jew. And the faithful Jews, even today, continue to pray like that, first thing in the morning and last thing at night, to acknowledge that God is our, the Lord, our God, is Lord alone. The, the words that they use are just six words. In Hebrew, it is Shema Yisrael, Adonai Epirimeno, Adonai Ehud. My Hebrew isn't too good, but, but it is good for us to remember and to know something about this prayer of Israel this prayer of the Jewish people. And if you're talking to a Jewish person, it is good to know something about the Shema and how they pray every morning. It is a lovely prayer and it is a reminder to them to think about the essential things of religion. Jesus re reaffirmed this reality, but he also uh, put the, uh, the ideal of love for neighbor, his own love for us, that suffered and died for us. And he also, of course, reminded us of the importance of loving our enemies, not only our neighbors, 
but our enemies as well. Every Saturday night in the prayer of the church, the bravery that we priests and many lay people say, there is the reading from Deuteronomy, the same reading. And I give it to you again briefly because it incorporates a little bit extra. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. It begins with that uh, inv invocation to listen. Listen, Israel. And the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And from that comes the word, therefore, because the Lord is our God and he is the one God, we must love him with all our hearts and with all our soul, with all our strength. And that, therefore, I think is very important. I'm surprised it's omitted in some of the translations that we have, but it is the prayer of Israelites and it can be our prayer too. And then he, he take to heart these words which I enjoin on today, drill them into your children. And that is what every Jewish parent teaches their children, the Shema. And that is what we too need to do. We are Jewish by origin. We are uh, part, we observe the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. And our parents often teach us, that is one of their privileges, to teach us how to pray and what way to pray. I wonder what prayer did your parents teach you? Did they teach you the Shema? Or did they teach you some other prayer? What I learned was the prayer to my guardian angel. And a lovely prayer too, that as a child I was fascinated by. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this day, be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. And at night time, we just change ever this night. Be at my side. And that is very important, my dear friends, that we have that spirit of prayer from the, the time we wake up until the time we go back to sleep in the night. And it is a great prayer, a prayer that reminds us of the very essence of our religion and the very essence of what Jesus wants us to do. These are the words that enable us to be close to the kingdom of God, to worship God, to honor him, to praise him, and to uh, love our neighbor. The second part of it, the love of neighbor, is from Leviticus. 18.19, but, or 19.18, 18.19, I think. But it is uh, the commandment that Jesus gave us, love one another as I have loved you. That is the uh, way that Jesus puts it. And of course, he loved us with an eternal love that cost him his life cost him the suffering and death on the cross and the resurrection too. These are words, these are prayers that we can all say, whether we pray the Shema, whether we pray the, the prayer to our guardian angel, or whether we pray the Our Father or some other prayer. It is a prayer that puts the essence of our faith before us and keeps it in mind for us. 
Uh, we know these two great commandments. We know them well. There is nothing new in what I say about them, but the, there is need always to renew ourselves in them. There is need for us to uh, be uh, encouraged not only to know them, to know the words, but to live them. That is the crucial thing, that we know the words and that we live the love of God and that we live the love of neighbor. Please, God, we will grow in those realities all through our lives. This weekend, my dear friends, we call it Halloween weekend. And it is a kind of a, a tridorm. We have Halloween today, uh, All Saints tomorrow, and then All Souls on Tuesday. Halloween means the evening of all Hallows, the evening before All Saints. All Hallows, All Saints. And that is why we celebrate this uh, feast day of Halloween. It is a lot of fun. And uh, as children especially, we look forward to it and we have great fun playing games and dressing up and doing all kinds of things. But like many Christian feast days, it has been secularized. Yesterday I was uh, listening to the kids as they ran out from their classes on religious education and they were coming over to the church and one of, the, uh, one of them who uh, was behind shouted at the guys in front, he said, watch out, there's a monster in the church. And our secular feast day talks about monsters, about witches, and about devils, and dresses up in these forms, which are not according to the spirit of the original feast day. The original feast day is about the saints, those saints that we honor, that we know, and that we love, and are very important. It is important for us, too, to recall and to remember that our society often secularizes our feast days. It has secularized our Christmas by referring to it as holidays, happy holidays, and keeping Christ out of the words and out of the picture. It is good for us also to remember Halloween is about the saints and about honoring those people who are in heaven, who are not canonized, but who are our friends in heaven. And rejoicing with them, celebrating with them, having fun, recalling them, and recalling their diversity and their uniqueness of life. And then again on Tuesday, we have all souls. And I'm not too sure about all souls, whether our culture, too, leads us maybe somewhat astray in the celebration of Dia de los Muertos, which will take place next Saturday here in Tucson. But is it a true expression of our faith in those who have died, those who are suffering still, in purgatory, those who need our prayers and those who still need uh, to be purified before they can see the Lord face to face. We uh, keep those things in mind and on this weekend we, uh, All Saints is usually a solemnity and a, a holiday of obligation to go to Mass. But this this year, because it is on a Monday, we do not have that obligation to go to Mass, but we still have an extra Mass tomorrow. We have Mass at 8 o'clock in the morning and another Mass at 6 o'clock in the evening. And I think we also have a Mass at the Capilla. And then again on Tuesday, 
It is customary for people to remember the dead and to pray for them during this month of November. We have a Mass also at the same times, 8 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the evening. And we have the Book of Remembrance here in the sanctuary, in close to the sanctuary where we can write the names of our beloved dead and remember them during this month. We remember especially those who have died of the COVID-19. So let us celebrate this triduum with joy, with happiness, with good fun, and with faith in the real meaning of who the All Saints are, who we honor in Halloween, and who we honor with all souls. In that way, we grow in our faith and we try to apply it to our secular lives too. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, the bold things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, and light, to God and God and not made, substantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, as incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in one Lord Jesus, one in the river of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now add our prayers of petition for all our brothers and sisters, and especially for uh, the needs of the church, the needs of our own families. For our bishops and priests, men subject to weakness and yet called by God to share in the ministry of his Christ, that they may be upheld and protected from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may grow and prosper the more by keeping the commandments of the Lord, which he has implanted in every heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may offer a pleasing sacrifice in God's sight by our faithful observance of his law of love, giving him our hearts, our understanding, and our strength, and serving each other in his name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our young people and our children, that through the leadership of good teachers and the grace of a solid family life, they may learn to live with understanding and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel their weight of sorrow or sickness may place all their confidence in Jesus, who is holy, innocent, undefiled, and always able to save those who approach God through him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Rydell Elias Eliasa Sonte, for whom this Mass is offered, 
that he may receive blessings through the intercession of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, that they may be placed before the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause for a moment in silence and present to our Heavenly Father the petitions we carry within our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we thank you for all your blessings. We thank you especially for our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant that we may walk in his presence and know his love every day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being, while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with, the angel, all, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. 
and you never cease <clears throat> to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And so, therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph our husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Teresa and John of the Cross and little Therese and all the saints, <coughs> on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other some sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Plus peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O oh Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Our first announcement today is that um, your pre-ordered t-shirts are available in the courtyard today only. There are a few extra shirts available for sale. And here are some important announcements which may be found in today's bulletin. Monday, November 1st is All Saints Day. We will have an 8 a.m. and a 6 p.m. Mass. This is not a holy day of obligation this year. Tuesday, November 2nd is All Souls Day, and we will have a 6.30 a.m., 8 a.m., and 6 p.m. inside the church. A novena of masses will be said for all our departed loved ones. Santa Cruz volunteers, all dioceses, the Diocese of Tucson is rolling out a new 3-in-1 safe environment program and is requiring all volunteers to complete this mandatory training by today. If you are a volunteer here, please call the parish office for instructions and help. Please join us for a holy hour in honor of St. Joseph with evening prayer and exposition of the Blessed Sacrament 
every Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. inside the church. And the annual Catholic appeal. Our parish goal is $40,340. Currently, we have collected $13,080. That is 32% of our goal. We only have two months to try to reach at least 50% of our goal, which would be another $7,090 more. The deadline is December 31st. Please prayerfully consider making your pledge to help us meet our parish goal. Thank you, and God bless you. And, uh, thank you, Lyle, for uh, your lecturing and the announcements. And also, as I uh, thanked you already for singing the Alleluia. Uh, we did well on the Alleluia. We didn't do too well on the hymn <laughs> after communion. We, we need a, a cantor, a better leader than the guy who led. <laughs> And I thank uh, Rico also for his ministry here in the sanctuary and in the sacristy, and uh, Peter for the live stream ministry, and our ushers, of course, for their faithful service in our church, and the Eucharistic ministers that help today. We conclude with the blessing. We will use the blessing from the Old Testament the short blessing, which is very lovely. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord in our lives. Thanks.